Hey Aquarius, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with a Hidden Enemies reading for you guys for the month of June 2021. And we're just going to be picking up um, what's going on behind the scenes that you don't realize or recognize could be happening. You know... Who behind the scenes basically hating on you, praying on your downfall? What is it that they want from you? What is it that they have to say from you? And what's going to be the outcome of the entire situation? So because this, this is more on a level of where we are going to be trying to tap into more negative energies, I do have remove all negative energy and negative blockages so that people with those energies won't come to this video. Okay, so hopefully these frequencies are banishing those energies as we speak. Spirit, we are also going to go ahead and uh, clear the energy with the singing bow. I'm going to strike it three times, guys. Um, and also, I'm going to just top it off with some Palo Santo, which I already did, but I just want to do it on camera. That way, people that have negative intentions towards this reading, towards this channel, can be ushering their way out the door with the frequency, with the sound of the sinking bow, as well as with the Palo Santo, okay? So thank you for being patient as we get this video started, Aquarius. flowers of the week and now we're going to focus more on the table let me go ahead and light the palo santo now so since this take a little while to penetrate the wood i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video but i'm gonna come back when it's good and smoking So let's hop right in, Aquarius, because at this point, and of course, we'll get more of the description of who these people can possibly be, Aquarius, through the um, clarification of tarot, with tarot, but yeah, we definitely about to tap in and see what it is that these enemies, these hidden enemies want. From the sign of Aquarius. So let's call in the angels and ancestors. Holy Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for the astrological sign of Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of June 2021, Spirit. Who are the what is it that these hidden enemies want from Aquarius, Spirit? want your new beginning whoever this person is they definitely um have a lot of blockages in their life and they see that you have a lot of growth they see that things are shining in your life where things can be quite dark and confusing in theirs so it's like they see your light they want your light they want your ebb and flow they want your flow period and since these people haven't embodied the same energy to gain the same gifts and results from the universe that you have, they rather take the shortcut and just take your new beginning. These people definitely want to blind you because I'm getting veil. So these people definitely want to pull a veil over your eyes. So it's more than likely that whoever these people are around you, you know them. They could be cohabitating with you. This can be somebody that you even um, being intimate with. Someone's that act, someone that's acting like a friend. This can be a neighbor. This can be a jealous coworker. But whoever this person is, it's like the same energy is real gray and bland, but there's always light penetrating. So whoever this is, it's like they want your light to penetrate their bland life. So let's get one more from this deck. 
What is it that the hidden enemies want from the sign of Aquarius spirit? What is it that they're trying to gain through hating? I feel like they want you to be in solitude. They want you to be out in the cold. They want you to be in deep thought and reflection about whatever fog that they put you up in. They want to keep you in the fog so they can keep you isolated. At the bottom of the deck, they don't want you to wake up. Or they want your transformation to come to an end. So if you're transforming, you're changing, you're glowing up and somehow they want that to stop. And I see that this has been happening generationally. I also see that their ancestors are pissed the fuck off. Okay? Not just your ancestors, but their ancestors are pissed off. Because they're creating generational curses instead of breaking them within the family. You're the generational curse breaker, Aquarius. These peoples are the generational curse makers. Their ancestors are not protecting them. They just making more and more karma. Get entangled up with snakes. Getting less and less grounded. I'm seeing that this can mess up at least four generations of this person's lineage. And you got earth magic and angels all around you, fairies. No matter what it is that you believe in, whether it's angels, ancestors, fairies, spirit guides, they're all here watching over you, making sure that the earth is coming into alignment the universe is coming into alignment with what it is that you meant to have despite whoever these individuals are who lost their innocence as a child so these people lost their innocence as a child they have unresolved childhood wounds this this probably this jealousy probably been going on for four generations before and they just added four generations of karma So yeah, these people don't want you to emerge. They don't want you to... They don't want you to get deeper into your spirituality than what you already are. They want you to actually doubt what it is that you're doing. They just... This is a very goddess-like energy. They definitely can be trying to strip that of you. It's like you very ethereal. A force of nature. And they can't stand that. Just the way she looking, these people, they definitely watch you relentlessly. They try to watch your every move. So you got to watch out about having your location on. With, with your phone you might have to turn your location off because whoever these people are they definitely can be skilled when it comes down to um finding out things about you that you wouldn't want them to know so what else is it that these hidden enemies want from the sign of aquarius sun moon rising venus and the north node In the month of June 2021. They hate how balanced and how fair you are. Maybe maybe you are receiving your justice. And whoever this person is, for some odd reason, they can't seem to see how basically your life is balanced. You've experienced both sides of the fence. You've experienced struggle. You've experienced everything else that other people have experienced in life. That they are not a victim. So whoever this person is, they could be coming from the other side of the tracks thinking that you ain't never been there. Maybe they feel like things are just handed to you. Maybe they don't know how much work you put in, Aquarius, into what it is that you're trying to do with your life. Whether that's going to school. For some of you, y'all have y'all associates, ma uh, bachelors, masters. And it's people that think that you think you better than them because you decided to get an education. They not thinking about the sleepless nights. They not thinking about the times you had to retake a class because you failed. 
They just feel like you are mighty because you're proud of yourself. They look at your accomplishments as something to be jealous of. Some of you have started businesses. And maybe you already went through the rough stages of that business, but whoever these people is, they try to keep you in that rough stage. They don't want your business to evolve because they're jealous. Because they didn't do they don't want to do the work necessary to get themselves out of a dark spot. They just want to see others around them in a dark spot. They don't see how you had to balance out the energy, but they just want the balance that you receive from balancing out your energy. And once again, we get that veiled, veiled energy. So they could be wanting you to bring balance to their life. Maybe you have what they don't. But what are they willing to do for you? What is it that these hidden enemies want from Aquarius? In the month of June. Darkness. Again, I keep getting the energy of them wanting you to be alone. They want them wanting you to be in a dark place. They could be sending dark energies to you. They want you to be a lost soul. They want you to lose your purity. They want you to lose your attraction or your ability to be able to attract and manifest things into your world. They want your path. They want your path. They want you to second guess your path. They want to get you off your path. So, people can definitely be doing spells to try to harness your beauty, your attractiveness. And most Aquarius are very beautiful and handsome. So whoever this is, it's like they want, they could be trying to like age you rapidly or they could be putting like uh, weight gain spells on you or, you know, whoever this is, if they coming around you, this person could be trying to get you to do more than smoke weed if you do smoke weed maybe this person want to get you to try something else because they know it can cause a demise in your life it can cause you to age quickly it can cause you to catch diseases it can cause illness within your body And maybe these are all the things that they're lacking. Maybe they're not attractive. Maybe even if they are attractive, they have an ugly soul. And that could be the reason why they're trying to suck yours clean. Maybe they're not pure. Maybe they're tainted. Maybe they're riddled with STDs. Maybe they're a drug addict. Maybe they're drunk. And so they want you to be the same way. They don't like your purity. They don't like your light. They don't want you to be pure. They want you to be in the darkness. And they want to veil it. So that's what they could be doing this this gradually to where one day you just wake up and don't even recognize yourself because somebody been stifling your beauty, siphoning your beauty, taking it for them for themselves. But mainly what this person wants for you is for you to be alone. This person wants you to be in a dark place, alone, unsure about your life, unattractive, lacking purity. So we're going to go ahead and just clarify these energies. All right, Spirit. So why is new beginnings dawn, a new beginning here? I mean, everything is like out of the darkness into the light, Aquarius. So I just got a sense that things ain't always been that easy for you. You finally reaching a phase in your life that you happy. And you got so many people diligently trying to bring you down. 
and I feel like they from all walks of life. I don't feel like it's one or two people. I feel like you got people in the work field, people in your neighborhood, people in your so-called friend group. If you got your own business, you got clients that's after you. It's just too much. It's too much. If you are in school, if you are that graduate, you probably had a lot of classmates that just thought you was a know-it-all. We do give off that energy because we're very knowledgeable. And a lot of us are knowledgeable by teaching ourselves, by, by being eager to want to learn something new, to want to go to the next level, to want to elevate, to want to ascend. Okay, so why is darn new beginnings here? Well, other people don't want to do that work. They rather stay in a low vibrational energies and not try to find themselves and heal themselves. Again, that's so crazy that I'm saying they don't want to go within and try to find themselves and heal themselves. One of these people that may want a new beginning or want to take your new beginning from you could be a Virgo or someone that's connected to a Virgo. Because maybe you have a new beginning with a Virgo. If not, then it could be a Virgo that wants to take this new beginning from you. You see what I'm saying? Karma. So it could be at least three people in a group that's that's attached to the situation. And whoever these people are, they definitely doing moon spells, moon rituals. Three people or more. It could be two men and a woman. Whoever these people are, it's like they trying to give you their karma and take your good fortune. That's what I'm definitely seeing here. <sighs> Why is Bill here? Fog Bill. could be people that's around you that definitely seem innocent people that's coming around being extra nice you make sure you know people intentions first with the death card here and this little boy reaching up to this death angel somebody is definitely giving offerings Somebody is definitely giving offerings to something dark. Scorpio energy. This person come off innocent. I don't want to say they demonically possessed, but I'm telling you that's the first thing that wanted to come out of my mouth. This person is a hothead. And you will never know it until you get to know this person. Because they come off very pure. They come off very giving. But watch what you take from this individual. Watch what you give to them too. Because whoever this is, they trying to blindside you. Rather, that's to set you up, run up on you. But this situation can end dangerously. Why is winter solstice here? And this person, again, they don't want you to have nothing. They don't want you to be abundant. They want to take the Empress title from you. Or this can be the Empress in reverse. For some of you, it's a fucked up mama. If I'ma just keep it real, some of y'all just got a fucked up ass mama. But whoever this is, it's like they just want you working around the clock but still lacking abundance, out in the cold. They want to reduce your pinnacles down to a three. Maybe you was due a ten. This person wanted to be at a three. I feel like this person is working diligently to put you in this energy. And they think about it obsessively, okay? 
wise balance here again shadow energy do you see all of this i mean am i tripping or what whoever this is they is they they either got a dark energy after them or they the dark energy and you could be feeling like you gotta like run from this person whether that's relocate move change your number block this person Or this could be how they feel about their attachments. Because like I said, I feel like they're giving offerings to something. And with this balance being here, it's like whatever this dark thing is that they promise something in exchange for your head. Exchange for your vision. Exchange for your new beginning. Exchange for your purity. Exchange for your beauty. You see that demon, it's like pay up. Where's Aquarius? You gotta balance out the skills. So they want you to balance out the skills of something that they got themselves into that they now regret it. They scared of shit. Whoever this is, they got these dark spirits coming after them because they get in karma. For trying to stop your transformation. Even some of them doing death spells. Let's just put it out on the table. Because I we've been picking this up for months. It don't matter at this point. This person is operating out of their lower self completely. But they going to regret it. Because the same things that they was brave enough to summon. Are going to consume them. I'm getting draw a line in the sand. What the hell is that? So they they definitely could have been told many times or had many signs to stop. Draw a line in the sand. Some of them could have made like especially if they know where you live they could have made like i don't want to say sigils in your backyard or around or in their own home and in their own backyard but i feel like if they knew where you live they could have put some type of sigil around your house and maybe it would be to lose everything to mess your money up To just trade out karma with them. Them take your good karma and you take their bad karma. Why is darkness here? They do have a dark past. This could definitely be... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was a Six of Cups in reverse. Let's get one more on there. Why is darkness in the Four of Cups here? This person is becoming unsuccessful. They also want you to lack success. They want you to miss opportunities. They want to slow up your money. Libra, Taurus, energy, if I didn't say that. So, so far we got Virgo. We got Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Why is purity in reverse? They do want to, they want to slow your money down. They do. And they could be taking extreme measures. They want you to take a different route. This can definitely be losing your health. So they want to dampen your purity by messing with your health somehow. Let's get one more on the strength and reverse. Ooh. Probably your mental health.
It just seemed like, like, this is the type of person that would lace you so that you can be schizophrenic. They don't like the fact that you speak your truth. It's something about your communication and your mindset that this person wants to bring to an end. They want to change the course of plans that you had. You guys have the whole world in your hand and this person want to take it. They want to take your stability. They want to take your structure. They want to take something that already took a long time to build and they trying to make it even longer. This person trying to cause major delays in your life. They don't want you getting attention. They want everybody to turn their attention from you. Why is attraction in reverse? They want a painful ending for you. They could be bringing several people up against you. Just like in this card. But they will never win. I feel like you guys are leaving. Yeah, they want your health or your beauty to decline rapidly. Attraction in reverse. The world card. You leaving. Some of y'all are leaving. Some of y'all are relocating and leaving the country to get the fuck out of here. And you still gonna get your new beginning when it comes down to work. So if you was a 10, they wanted you at a 3, you at an 8 right now. So you might have had to... Shit, some of, some of y'all had to lose out on some clients because they was a part of this team. So if your money went down, it's for a good cause. Just manifest new. So just to go ahead and wrap this up, what can Aquarius be expecting from this situation? What's going to be the outcome with all of this happiness, spirit? What's going to be the outcome for Aquarius? What's going to be the outcome for Aquarius in this situation? So this is going to come to an end because I'm getting never-ending story in reverse. Y'all, with the TikTok here. So spirit, has it's like time's up for these people. Whoever this is that been playing games, whether it's like trying to physically poison you, poison your mind through magic, you know, whatever they trying to tap into, their time is up. With exchanging gifts here, you you get back what you put out, and you've been putting out you've been putting out your whole purity. Hold on, y'all. You've been putting out your whole purity. You're gonna get that back in return. You are. The universe is gonna bring back to you what you put out there. So if you continue to put out positive positivity continue to help people help those that you actually discern are are safe to help then this is coming to an end number one so you ain't gonna have to keep on worrying about fighting up against evil because something gonna get taken from these people whether it's their power to do that you are gonna find out the truth about who you need to cut the fuck off and because you allow spirit to lead you you go into greater pastures Let's get one angel message and then this is it. I feel like y'all know what y'all need to know. And I'm also getting Cancer, Scorpio again, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. So that could be some of the signs of y'all enemies that I named here. Okay, Spirit, let's get one angel message. What 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 is it that Aquarius' is angels want to say to them as it pertains to the situation remember who you are and keep bossing up remember who you are and speak your truth Aquarius it's saying you are a powerful loving and creative child of God you are very loved so don't allow this hate to be mistaking you for how the overall world feels about you because those that are in alignment with your highest good they're gonna love you and the love is gonna outweigh the hate by so much that it's gonna make these people cringe and melt like the freaking weak, wicked witch of the west I can't even talk right 
but you are an indigo child or a crystal children. So maintain that inner child innocence, okay? This is also speaking to you are a child of God. Remember who you are. You are protected. The wings of the angels are definitely shielding you. You know, um, you are sensitive, but don't allow your sensitivity to be overruled. You know what I'm saying? Overrule like your logic, okay? So start listening to, and I'm definitely getting crown chakra energy, but start listening more to your inner voice because I'm getting clear audience here. And you be getting loving guidance from your spiritual team and you need to listen to it. Some of y'all have already been attracting haters way before this. And so you probably second guess yourself because you be thinking, well, I'm being paranoid. Not everybody is like my ex or my ex friends or well, whoever hurt me or lied to me or whatever. But y'all need to start listening to y'all first mind for y'all own safety. Because this right here, whoever this is, they just off the chain. They are. All right, guys. So hopefully this helped. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.